Do you feel the vibe? Oh boy, this is a big okay. one, guys. Before we get started on this grand list, I have two rules. What? One, I have to be able to play as Mario for it to count. And two, I'm only allowing one Mario Kart, one Smash Bros, and one Mario Party for the list. This top ten okay. is like a hybrid. You'll not only find out what my favorite Mario game is, but also my favorite Mario Kart, Smash Bros, and Mario Party. Oh, and yeah. keep in mind, this list is going to be biased because I grew up with Mario and am fond of some of the games more than any of you may be. You will oh, likely yeah. be very upset because some very popular Mario games aren't making this list. And without further ado, yeah. let's -a go! Let's -a go! Let's start with the most popular video game of all time. Super Mario Bros. is so good that it saved the video yeah, game industry. The when the video game crash of 1983 happened, stores wouldn't stock video games anymore. Nintendo packaged this game and Rob with a Nintendo Entertainment System and marketed it as a toy. This a toy? toy revived video games. Yeah, and it's the T O Y. Oh, the reason we have Call of Duty, Halo, Sonic, you name it. I know, Even there would be, more, there be old, no video game games. Is still a blast to play. Well, I guess the no tunes are as catchy games as ever, get, and the control is still yeah. as tight as it was back in 1985. Yeah. This was one of the first games I ever beat as a kid, and this was before I even knew about the Warp Zones. I actually beat it oh, on yeah. the Game Boy Color version. And while that allowed the game to have unlimited continues, it was still challenging at 8 years old. This is the yeah. first game my kids will play, so they can appreciate why they have the modern games of today. Uh, oh, yeah. And the next frustration series is this game, so I hope you all are looking forward to that. Number 9! Number nine. Yeah! Whoa, what? A Mario sports game is on this list, Nathaniel? Why, yes, ladies and gentlemen. Not only is this the best sports game that Mario has to offer, but, well, okay, you know what? I don't really call this a sports game. This game doesn't really feel like a typical Mario game at all, actually. Yeah. Everyone looks so mature, and the game is even rated E10+. Oh, really? I mean, this doesn't make it bad in oh, any yeah. way. I actually really like the bold move Nintendo made going yeah, for Yeah, it, it, is, it is rated E10+. Plus. Or, yeah, E10+. E plus. But also, I don't know if you guys know this, but I think one of the Super Smash Brothers games is actually rated T for Teen, right? Yeah, I think so. a Mario title, or somewhat mature. But anyway, to the game itself. Mario Strikers Charge is just so incredibly fun. I wish soccer was like this in real life. Yeah, I Mega know, Strikes is cool. what really hits the game out of the park. Just the fact that all the team captains can split this metal ball into four or six pieces is crazy, but they also wow. look so cool doing it. Mario and Donkey Kong, ugh, they look pretty freaky though. And Bowser yeah, Jr.? What? He just screams. Yeah, he just screams. <laughs> anyway, you can use classic Mario items like bananas and red shells while on the playing field. Oh, oh and all the captains cool, have actually. special abilities, which can be anything from electrocuting all the players or growing enormous. Good god, this game, it's... it's just... I don't even know. This is madness! Madness! Sorry. I've, I've never used the cliche 300 joke before, and I thought this was the perfect opportunity, so I went for it. I shot for the moon, and landed softly on the moon, where I then proceeded to graffiti my name on the US flag, but got crushed by an asteroid instead. What? What? Whoa! <laughs> I don't know where all that came from. Let's just, let's just get to the next game, alright? Okay. Number eight. Number eight. New Super Mario Bros, New Super Mario Bros, Wii, New Super Mario Bros, 2, New Super Mario Bros, U, and New Super Luigi U. Whew. I have completed all five of these games, and I can safely say that they are all virtually the exact same thing. Aside I know. from a new power up here and there. Yeah, <sighs> it is However, 
one of these games is on my list, and that would be the first of this new series. New Super Mario Bros. for the DS was so brilliant at the time. I'll never forget when I first grabbed a Mega Mushroom and just crushed everything in my path. Oh yeah, I remember doing that. Wasn't this made like 2008 or something was Super like Mario this? World. I, all of a sudden I, I, you have power-ups that can make us or huge, not tiny, or trap us in a Koopa yeah. shell. I mean, this game has it all, and it was one of the biggest steps towards innovation that 2D Mario games have ever taken. It introduced yeah. star coins, co-op play, and the graphics were just phenomenal for the time. Yeah, After like, like 9 or 10 years ago, they looked Mario awesome. Games, this version has the hardest levels, the best design levels, yeah, and the most like creativity. Ago, the like system that. in which they made this game was so good that they practically copied it for the next four games in this series. It kind of does seem that, except the four other ones had better graphics. If you've been subscribed to me for a while and have seen my freakout compilations of Mario Party, then you already know that my favorite Mario Party is the first one. Oh. Now, sure, it only has six characters, but they are the most popular ones to this day. What yeah. I like about this version the best is the small things that aren't in the newer games. When you compete in a 1 vs 3 minigame, whoever loses has to give up their own coins to the person or people that won. If you lose oh, a 4 player minigame, you lose 5 coins. When you talk to Bowser, you lose as low as 20 coins or as high as an entire star. This game is an evil bastard. You will lose tons of coins from Bowser and other players. That's why I love it. It makes the yeah. interactions you have with your buddies more entertaining. Chance Time and Boo make the party even better, as both of these elements can make or break a player that's winning or losing. On Bowser's board, yeah, I've never really played the original space, Mario Party. All of though. the spaces turn red. I've only played like Mario Party 9 so and 10. Those are the only ones I've played. That's why it's so awesome. You never feel like you're guaranteed to win while playing. And that's why it's such a blast compared to the newer Mario Party games. And not to mention, this game has some of the best mini games that have ever been offered out of all the Mario Party games. I even made a whole top 10 video on the best Mario Party mini games. That's how good they are. Oh, wow. Number 6. Number 6. Okay. November was the month of Mario Kart for my channel. Oh, I created yeah. a whole mini series that predicts Mario Kart 8, and last month's top 10 was about the best and worst items in Mario Kart. Out of the eight games, my personal favorite is Mario Kart 64. Yeah, I think that's just one of my favorites as well. In my book. All of the courses are breathtaking, the multiplayer is excellent, and the battle mode is simply spectacular. This game has some of the best courses to this day. Toad's Turnpike, Wario Stadium, DK Jungle Parkway. Do I really need to go I don't on? remember that one. In the battle mode. Oh man, I've spent well, hours I'm upon hours now. playing battle mode with friends. All the maps are a blast to play on, and if there are three or more players, the first to die turns into a bomb, which in turn can blow up other players. That was oh, such really? a good idea. Really? I think I I've talked about that. Mario Kart enough these past couple of months, so let's just give it a rest and get to the next game. Okay. Some people love Super Mario Sunshine, and some people hate it. I'm one of I've those guys that Mario love Sunshine. it. Sunshine makes I guess you it's think because it's on the GameCube and I never played the They would always be easy in video games. Yeah, I think games. it's on the GameCube. Oh, cube. how our minds were all proved wrong. Yeah, it definitely is. The controls in this game are perfect. Everything moves at such a fluent and fast pace. It makes it fun to speedrun for a star. Flood looks like a stupid idea, but it makes the game 100 times better than it already is. Yeah. The nozzles will allow you to hover in the air, jump to great lengths, and you can even run and spray. The water effects still look good to this day. I can't believe how great they look on the GameCube. I really enjoy those special levels where you have to complete it without the flood pack. I'm not sure if it's the infectious music yeah, I don't or the know incredible what, I don't level really design know that makes about, it so uh, awesome. Maybe Sunshine it's both. Because I've never played it. The only drawback to this I game is how difficult it is. Gameplay of it, a little Personally, bit. I think this is the second hardest Mario game to exist, aside from Super Mario Bros. Last Level. And for the people that aren't as good, such as myself, it can make the game less fun as you progress further and further. Yeah. It's not that I don't want a challenge, because I do. Nintendo just spiked the difficulty up a little too much on this one. While I've beaten Bowser, I've never gotten all the shines. And on top of that, those blue coins are really difficult to find. I would need a walkthrough to hunt them all down. Number four. Okay, number four. The big debate about Smash Bros. nowadays is which one is better, Melee or Brawl? While both have lots of good qualities and a few bad, I'm going to have to go with Melee. 
The fighting it's engine they used is nearly flawless. Everything moves at such a fast yet controllable rate. The graphics still look good to this day. There's a ridiculous amount of stages and characters to unlock, and there's plenty of other goodies to go through. This is the only fighting game I ever play because it's simple yet complex at the same time. And I'm not much yeah. into fighters anyway, so it's amazing I even play this one so much. Brawl has all of these things and more, but the problem is that they have more characters that are overpowered or unbalanced. Melee's oh, characters yeah. are all equal for the most part, and there is no stupid banana peel or the tripping mechanic. Oh, the yeah. only complaint with this game is that there's no online Dude. mode, but obviously there wouldn't be considering the GameCube didn't offer that. This is another game that I really don't need to talk about anymore, considering I have more than 10 videos that predict the next Smash Bros. for the Wii U slash 3DS. So I'm just going to stop here and move on. Number three. Okay, number three. I had a tough choice picking between Mario Galaxy 1 and 2. Both of these games have great power-ups, catchy music, and overall fun gameplay. I decided to go with Mario Galaxy 2, simply because there's more to do in the sequel. Mario has done so much to save Princess Peach. Yeah, I think it, when it was I, announced I think it to be traveling to the too. other planets to Same. do this, people shat their pants. Yeah, I think it, Mario Galaxy 2 is revolutionary. No other game has mastered 3D platforming to this degree. You can turn into a boulder, ride on Yoshi, re-explore level from Super Mario 64, and run around on a planet shaped by Mario's head. When you finish the game, you discover that not only can you play as Luigi, but stars are added to every level! Now, sure, all you're doing is exploring the level, but it's yeah. still extra content! Nintendo didn't need to add it, but they did anyway! And on top of that, when you collect all the green stars and the maximum amount of star bits, you unlock one of the hardest Mario levels in history. The Perfect Run. The perfect I did a frustration run. series on just this one star years ago. That's how hard it is. I'm going to warn you now. The next game will have several spoilers, so if you don't want to hear them, skip ahead to number one. Number two. Number two. Okay. This game just came out a few weeks ago at the time this script is being written. And I oh, heard all of these reviewers saying how incredible the game was. Just I Super Luigi I should play you? through it before like making that? this top Oh, no, 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 it's not Super Mario 3D world. I am world. so glad okay. that I did that. Where do I even begin yeah, with Mario Super Mario 3D World? This game takes yeah, everything I, yeah, I from think, yeah, I have Mario super, titles super, that were good, adds them to this game, and then adds more cool things to it. And what do you know? We have a masterpiece. You can play as Mario, Luigi, Peach, and Toad, which all have oh, unique yeah, abilities. Can. There's a Mario Kart level. bomb on boys are back. They finally created original bosses. The world map is very interactive. The Captain Toad houses are a neat little treat. The graphics are the best we've seen yet on the Wii U. Yeah, they you know, do look pretty go good. Go like, almost as good as Super what Mario Odyssey, about this which is the latest is that game. Uh, the latest Super Mario game. Time I'm you never this. feel like you're repeating the same task over and over. The game feels fresh from the beginning to the end. Now, let's talk about the final Bowser. The last few games have had mediocre Bowser battles, in my opinion, but this one is literally the weirdest and most badass Bowser fight of all time. Really? Bowser turns into a cat. You then race him Wait, to the top of the tower, cat? trying to dodge his attacks. And all of a sudden, you see two cat Bowsers. Then you Whoa. see three, and four. When you get to the top of the tower, there are That's five cat Bowsers crazy. that are thriving to pounce on you. And the only way out is to mash the POW block until it disappears, and you end up destroying all the Bowsers from the explosion. Oh. Holy shit! Nintendo, <laughs> why are you giving us all of this innovation and creativity at once? This boss made me almost geek to death because... It was so cool. It and, does know, look pretty cool, this actually. Really shouldn't have been so cool. I mean, Bowser is dressed as a freaking cat for crying out loud. But yeah, it's the most badass Bowser fight I've ever been in. It does look pretty right. cool. There's my two cents for this fight. Now, the only problem with this game is that it's a little on the easy side, but that's the only fault that I've really seen. And now, let's get to yeah. my all time favorite Mario game. Let's -a go! What could possibly be a number? I can't imagine this. It's me, Mario. Super Mario 64. I know what a lot of people are thinking. No Super Mario Bros. 3? No Super Mario World? Yep, that's right. I grew up playing Super Mario 64, and there's just no way any other game could replace it. 
Super Mario 64 is too memorable for me to put anywhere else on this list but number one. Now sure, the camera is awful at times, the control isn't the best, and the yeah. 100 coin stars can be annoying and tedious, but everything else about this game is perfect. You yeah. can fly via an owl, the Bowser fights are amazing, you jump through freaking paintings, all the worlds are just big enough to not be monotonous to play, you jump yeah. through a wall to get to a world, you can ride a Koopa shell on lava, you well, can ride awesome. on magic carpets, and on top of all that, this game changed the way we play games for forever. Mario 64 is the most popular game to speedrun through, with Cyglemic being the king right now with a world record of 1 hour 44 minutes and 1 second. Me and Aaron, you know, the guy from the compilation videos. Oh, I've, oh, I've never oh seen that. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> have done speedruns of this game several times. Our personal record, with about an hour of goofing off, was around 5 hours or so. Hundreds upon hundreds of games today still take ideas from this gem. And that's why Super Mario 64 is my favorite Mario game. So, yeah, I like tell it, me people, I don't what is your favorite, favorite I don't Mario know game my and favorite why? Mario game. Did you like my list or did you hate it? Maybe even Super Let me know in the comments. Super Mario. I'll respond to as many of you as I can. I don't know. Happy Maybe holidays, actually, everybody. Tomorrow, Thank you for actually watching. Be my most I hope you all have game. a wonderful day. That's the latest one. Okay, what you said. Subscribe if you enjoyed. All the social network links in the description. Okay, so that was a that was a okay video. Yeah, I just realized this video's got a lot of dislikes. It's got eight thousand likes, which is good, but a thousand dislikes. So I guess people, a lot of people disagreed with Nathaniel Bandy. But I think I think some Odyssey is my favorite um war game, and it, like just came out. Like, well, I, I really don't know what could be my favorite. That might be like my second favorite third favorite Mario game of all time but obviously the time that or the time Daniel Bandy made this uh made this video uh Super Odyssey wasn't even a thing and they didn't even announce the Nintendo Switch there I don't think no no no, no I don't even think they did so yeah because this is now on December 30th 2013 that was like long before the Switch came out but yeah but anyways thanks for watching this video I hope you guys enjoyed it